Hello all, Terhi Koskinen here. Um, this is my first tutorial for Scrapbook Workstat and I'm really excited about it. I'm showing you how to do this mixed media layout and we are starting with choosing the photographs of course but also with white cardstock and as I'm going to use quite a lot of uh, wet media on the page I'm using this figgy pudding gel uh, to make it waterproof and a little texture uh, on the uh, background I seem to have this cork <laughs> little uh, stuck but as you see, I'm really handy with scissors and then I um, felt a little frustrated and I throw it away and now oh, there's something else on top of the bottle. But anyway, um, I'm using a palette knife to spread this gel all over the page. Um, mostly on top of the areas I'm going to add the wet media. I have the vision in my mind about how to, how to make this. Um, so that's why I know how to and where I'll add the gel. Uh, once it's dry, you can air dry it or use a heat gun. But once it's completely dry, I'm going to use this really, really old stamp I have. Uh, it's a chicken wire stamp and I really love that. Um, as you see, it's really used but it works still. Um, I'm using Versata, uh, Versamark ink uh, because I'm doing some embossing. This is a golden embossing powder and you can already see the patterns of the stamping. I really really like that stamp. It makes any mixed media page look even more mixed media so it's really cool. Um, then once I'm ready with this um, embossing powder uh, I'll just check out that it's, it's all there and I have all the uh, areas made what I had in mind. And um, At this point if you feel like you have too much something going on on the page, you can easily wipe off the embossed um, areas with baby wipe because you added the gel first to the paper so uh, you can play with the stamping and do whatever as long as you don't heat it. And once I'm in this embossing mood, I decided to grab one uh, word from one of the stickers I have. This is some kind of older American crafts co uh, collection where this beautiful word came. Um, it's a white uh, puffy sticker. Uh, sticker <laughs> so uh, I'm just adding embossing powder on top and as you can see it also has to have now the embossing powder uh, around it but as there is a sticker behind the word it's easy to take off and, and then adhere to the layout. Uh, be careful with the heat gun I actually <laughs> burned my fingers while I was using heat gun for this, but who cares? Something happens and that's it. So, next phase is to make some watercoloring um, to the background. As you can see, the embossing powder on top of the uh, background is now sh shiny, so it's ready to go and will resist the wet media. And I'm starting to just flick the watercolors all over. I'm using this Vicky Putin um, watercolor brush, uh, which I have six of them, different sizes, uh, all sent by Scrapbook Workstats. So I'm really happy to try these. Um, these have some really nice effect with the water because some watercolor brushes are really hard and you have to like really press them to have the water coming through so these are not these are soft and the water comes through easily so I really like this 
I'm going in with greens and some uh, blue. I'm not happy with the lime green, so I'm trying to mix it with blue and darker green. And well, I can play like this like forever, but of course, at some point I will have to find my end. <laughs> Um, and then I'm going to let the background dry and while it's drying I'm using these beautiful beautiful Vicky Pudding all the good things collection papers and making the paper layers for the layout. First I chose this um, background for the photographs. I'm making really small frames for the photographs because I want to kind of um, highlight the photographs uh, from the quite busy background. So these uh, light and uh, small frames will do the effect perfectly. Um, I'm using 3D foam for almost every layer I make to make sure that there is enough air and um, shadows and dimension on the page. Um, yeah. And of course that <laughs> when I'm cutting all the papers I want to make sure I use every piece. So that's why I'm also adding the leftovers from the photograph paper to the paper layers I'm doing now. And I want to use this beautiful butterfly uh, paper too somehow because the butterflies uh, butterfly Ah, I can't even talk anymore. Anyway, uh, I want to use these beautiful, beautiful butterflies uh, for my layout. I actually thought to make a layout with all these butterflies on the background, but then again, maybe that would be too much. Or not. Well, anyway, this layout was not with all the butterflies, but I'm picking up like three or four turquoise or green, greenish ones to make sure that they match the background perfectly. Um, there was actually some butterflies uh, on the packaging of these epamera pieces and uh, clips and all kind of all kind of things in this all the good things collection so never underestimate the power of the packaging as well because you can use the, those as embellishments too so now i'm going to do this um, paper layers for the layout and as set and as you see there's that little frame for the photograph and now i'm just Picking up the papers one by one and keeping up them um, in my other hand and then layering, layering, layering. I'm going to use taper in this phase because it allows me to add something more between the layers if I want to add something more later. Uh, this is something I do all the time, so if you have watched my videos before or uh, been on my classes or something, you have probably heard about this, but it's something I really love. I'm going to try to mix this purple uh, shade paper and the green shade, the sh shade paper, and it seems that it really fits quite well. Maybe it's because that photograph is so pinkish or just it fits so well. Of course all the papers are from one and same collection so that also helps mixing um, paper colors and making even weird color combos. So now I just want to make sure that I have uh, enough everything on the page. And I'm planning how to design the page, how to fit the title on top, and everything like that. Now, this is what I thought before. Um, these cute little clips are, of course, easy to use as a clip. But I also find this one more butterfly from the packaging. Um, it's this 
quite big turquoise one and as I'm a big big fan of turquoise I really wanted to cut it out and as it's from the packaging it's much more shinier it has more sheen than the uh, paper ones have so it's really nice detail um, try it it will be fun there's also some um, flowers and maybe a bird if I remember right so something for everyone um, I added one puffy sticker from Pink Paisley Wild and Free collection which is also sent me by scrapbookers that so I really like to combine things from different collections that makes nice nice details for the page. I'm just thinking where to add this magical word because it wasn't good on top of the photos um, and it always takes some time to make sure that all the embellishments are exactly where I want them to be. Now I want to repeat the golden color somehow on top of the embellishments and papers. So I picked up one of my favorite mists. This is Haiti Swap uh, Color Sign Gold Mist and I actually use it all, almost on my every single page. So this is it. It was easy and fun and I really hope you liked it and I hope you are inspired. Thank you for Scrapbook First for the products. Bye!